Hello, hello, good afternoon. Just getting my computer organised so I can see you all on screen being wonderful and saying lovely things. Alright. It's that time of the day. 3.30 Adelaide time at the moment. Starting to get a little bit cooler. Just made myself a coffee. The internet's probably going to turn terrible. <laughs> Standard every single day here at about 3, 3.30. So, but that's okay. Hello, Linda. Hope you're feeling a little bit better this afternoon, lovely. I've got a cold nose in here. And I thought today I'll try and save a million dollars on electricity by not putting the heater on. So my nose is cold. Um, hello, Fiona. Uh, so today as part of the Picture to Page online show, we have got lots of things on special on nataliemay.com.au and I have been doing little free live Facebook demos for you to have a bit of a play with some products for me to get my creativity on and happening and just to, to give a little bit back to you with some free mini classes. So that's exciting. Um, I'm just pulling off an un unnecessary amount of paper towel here. There we go. Spilt my coffee earlier, so I've got paper towel going everywhere. And I'm going to be creating a, doing a page in my, in my DIY handmade journal today. Oh, let's stop that flicker. Hang on a minute. There we go. Um... My DIY handmade journal, I'm going to do another page. So I've had a good few days doing pages. This is a handmade journal. This I showed you on day one of this show. Um, <laughs> and it's a, got a bit of red paint on her neck here, so I'm going to have to decorate that. But this is just a great little way of doing some art journal pages. Here's a couple. This one I did this morning, uh, new favourite. This one we did yesterday. This is the one we did last night, uh, or yesterday afternoon, and today I will. I thought for the last one of the weekend, I would do one using Lindy's. Uh, in the Lindy's, in the sorry, in the class earlier today, I swatched the new Lindy's tea and crumpet set. Look at these babies! Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Uh, this is the new Tea and Crumpets Shakers from Lindy's. So I've got these swatched here. The colours are fantastic. They're so nice. So I thought I would just do a super simple little journal page before I go home and pop my Ugg boots on and my trackies. And I'm going to work on some artist trading cards at the kitchen table this afternoon. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit of gesso stenciling to my background. So I am using my big boy bottle here of Liquitex uh, blah 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 gesso. And this is my all the dots stencil. So I haven't done this technique in a while and to be perfectly honest I've got no idea if it's going to work. But what the hell, we're going to give it a go anyway. So I'm using a latex sponge and loading up my sponge, but not putting too much on. I'm just going to dab a little bit of colour, well, sorry, not colour, gesso in the corners and running up the side a bit. So like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so full, full disclosure. It might not work, but I'm hoping that it's going to give a little bit of a resist when we go and add the magicals in a minute. So I hope you've all had a wonderful Saturday so far. Uh, for those of you playing along at home, you can go back and watch any of the videos that I have done. You'll find them here on the Facebook page and hopefully tonight if I get my pants into gear you'll be able to go back and watch them on YouTube. Um, but I forgot to put them up last night because I decided to have a glass of wine or so. Or three. Or four. So 
So I'm just going to use the gesso to create a little bit of interest. There we go. Um, hello everyone. Oh, there's a few of you watching. So we just announced our third guest teacher. Now apparently there's been a little bit of confusion. The super lovely Tammy Klinger, who I have known for, I'm gonna say 10, 15 years, over 10 years for sure. Tammy and I have um, known each other for a very, very long time because we're both young spring chickens. Tammy is going to be the guest teacher at our retreat. So our retreat is in the wonderful Adelaide Hills uh, and it is in May next year. So very, very excited about having Tammy join us at retreat. We have two guest teachers teaching online for us. One of those is Claire Stead from the UK and the other one is Naomi Alchin from, who is one of our brand ambassadors. So we have two guest teachers for online classes and one guest teacher coming to our retreat. So absolutely yay, over the moon about that. All right, I'm just gonna make sure that's totally dry before I do the next bit. So our retreat, for those of you who don't know about our, our retreat, we do it every year up in the Adelaide Hills. It is in a beautiful resort in Handorf. We hire the entire resort and we have that for the weekend. So it's a three day retreat. And we, uh, yeah, you can come and do your own projects. You can choose to do one of Tammy's classes or you can just, yeah, sit and do your own thing for two days. You can do any sort of craft, anything that floats your boat. I have seen ladies there doing uh, everything from crochet and knitting through to scrapbooking, card making, uh, art journaling, canvas art, mini books, you name it. You can do anything that you like. All right, let's get down to the good stuff. So this is one of the pages out of our DIY handmade journal. And I'm going to be using my Buds of May stamp set. Now this one I designed, this is my hand drawn little images and I'm gonna use this one here today. And I am gonna turn my page upside down because I wanna stamp like that. I want some hanging flowers on this one. So I have got a freshly inked Oh, do I use my stamp press? No, stuff it, get into it. Okay, stand up. Freshly inked ink pad. And I'm going to give it a nice even pressure. Oh, I nailed it. Ink, a little bit of table wobble going on here. And I might go down a little bit lower and then I can extend the drawing with my pen. So yes, cannot wait for Tammy to join us at the retreat. Um, Tammy's an amazing creative. She currently is on the Art by Marlene in creative team, which is awesome. Um, we have not planned our classes yet. We have no idea what we're going to be doing. And that's okay. It's ages away. So if you're interstate, we would love to have you join us. We have a huge range of people come from interstate. And uh, you would certainly not be alone in travelling. Some of you are new to travelling. Some of you are not. All right. And if you don't know anyone at the retreat, that's okay. Because guess what? We are all there for, for the right purpose. Um, we seat you with people who are, have, have a similar, you know, sort of, sort of creativity. I, I feel like I know most of you already. 
So I try and we try and organise a fantastic seating plan so that um, everyone is sitting with a like-minded person and same with the accommodation. All right. Here are some of the colours that I swatched earlier, all right? So love that. And I want to now colour my background using these colours. So I'm going to take Cup of Tea Teal, Lizzie's Cup of Tea Teal, which is this one here. And what I am going to do is I'm just going to make, let me get my coffee out of the way, that's a bit rude, sorry. I'm just going to tap some onto here. So these are the new shakers that we talked about before. They have got a great little flip top there. So I've got that one. Uh, we have got Butter the Bread Blue, which is this one. So I'm using colours that are alongside each other on the colour wheel so that they are not going to muddy up when we mix them together, all right? Then this one is Spill the Tea Teal. Spill the Tea Teal. Quite a strong colour. Don't need that much powder, but you know what? Let's commit to it. And then this Darcy in Denim rocks my world. Love this. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, here comes my standard, regular Facebook sneeze. All right, so I'm just going to use a, a pipette with a little bit of fancy Adelaide water and just drop a little bit of water in here. So if I had a little paint palette handy, I could quite easily just make up a little wash in there. But I thought I'd show you it's just as easy to do it here. And I'm going to take a paintbrush, this paintbrush. Oh, excuse me a minute, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. Oh, I don't know why I sneeze so much with live Facebooks. Drives me nuts. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this lightest colour green. And I'm going to just start by blotching in the colour. It's going to be a combination of all of these colours together. So what I was hoping, and it is happening, haha, <laughs> is that this gorgeous, that, that lovely stenciling that I did in the back with the gesso, that is offering a little bit of a resist and that is what I was after. So I'm just going to push up to my flowers and slowly mixing some of these colours together and trying to be quick about it because I this paper is not watercolour paper. It is just a, a, a heavy duty, smooth paper which is perfectly great for mixed media projects and adding paint and stuff like that. But it's not a watercolour so I don't want to take too long in mixing this colour into the background and I can build the colour but it's awfully difficult to take it off so I'm just going to come up here to try and not get any lines and you can see that I'm just pushing that colour up here whoops there we go And got a little bit of detailed colouring to happen here. So, of course, that means I'm going to need to either change brushes or, you know, stand on one foot and hold your tongue the right way. And I'm just going to go in and around my my hanging flowers here. I don't, I'm not fussed about going right up to the edges. That does not interest me at all. What does interest me is just getting some nice colour on my page. Now, I'm not going to look up and read any comments because 
This is me concentrating. So mixing all of these blues together is working really nicely. I'm not at all stressed about making a muddy colour because because I know that they're all going to work in beautifully together, all of these gorgeous cool colour tones. Now because we are using Lindy's and we're using the new Magicals, it's also going to dry with a little bit of a shimmer, which is nice. So the new Lindy's Tea and Crumpet set that I'm using here at the moment, have, they are all have a they all have a lovely shimmer to them. So just chat amongst yourselves while I'm doing the concentrating thing, getting in amongst here. And you can see that I'm taking off excess colour off my brush in places where it's a little bit stronger than I wanted. Okay, and spreading the puddles of colour around. Now, if you would like to book into our retreat, we only have a very small handful of spots left. So there is... And you can payment plan, you don't have to pay for it all now, you just need to pay your deposit to secure your spot. Um, so yeah, definitely payment plans available there. No stress about it. But it is a non-refundable deposit because we have had to book out the entire resort. So that is an option, is not an option. Right, I'm just going to turn it around now so that I can see what I'm working on a little bit better. Don't quite know why I didn't do that in the first place. Just using the paint on my brush, picking up a little bit of colour here and there. And thank you very much. Somebody's just linked in the links there. Um, Oh, and I can't read all those comments at the same time. Who's, who's doing all my fabulous commenting? This a combination of Robin and Naomi and Linda, I think. So thank you, girls. All right. So I'm using these new magicals just like... Um, a watercolour. So there's no reason why you can't adapt a product to suit your needs. Okay, it will certainly work for you. And you could do this technique on the front of a card, on a scrapbook layout, anything at all, on a larger art journal page. The thing that makes it look different and the thing that makes it uh, come across and, and finish up differently is the surface that you're working on, all right? So the surface that you're working on plays a big, big part in how it dries and how it looks as well. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm going to turn that around, wipe this up before I destroy it. Destroy my page. I'm going to grab a bit more of that blue and just kind of pop that over the top there. And wipe it up. All right, that just landed in my handbag. That'll be pleasant, won't it? Okay, okay. So you can see what's happened here. We have completely covered our background by mixing together four of these colors from Lindy's. I have used this gorgeous teal, which is Lizzie's cup of tea teal. I have used butter the bread blue, which is this one here. This one is spill the tea teal. And Darcy in denim, which is that one. So. Um, 
There you go. So Emma's just commented that she used this same stamp on her art journal page last night. I hope you share it with us in our creative community. Um, that would be great. So if you're not part of the Natalie May scrapbooking creative community, we are a Facebook group where we share our create creativity. We, I run a competition, so the latest competition to win a $25 gift voucher to our online store, you need to create a tag, just a tag, a simple tag. The tag can have anything on it, can be any sort of medium. So you can do this technique if you wanted to on a tag, but it has a couple of little stipulations. One of them is, it will be wonderful if you could include the word kind on your tag. And also, in um, out of respect for Dark Room Door and the passing of the lovely Rachel Greig, uh, if you could use a Dark Room door, door product, we thought that that would be a great nod to, to Rachel. So, um, only if you have a Dark Room Door product. All right, so there we go. We've got our background done there. So now I'm going to colour my flowers and I really have to have a little bit of a think about what I'm going to do here because I've got some great colours, but I definitely think it's screaming out for past the Jam Jane. And putting my glasses on to read those will be fantastic. Um, so, uh, yeah, it would be wonderful if if we can get some some creativity and a bit of an ode to, uh, a bit of a nod to, to Rachel from Dark Room Door, who, who only Thursday lost her, her battle with endocrine, endocrine pancreatic cancer. So, um, that would be wonderful. So, you can win a $25 gift voucher to the store. Uh, to Natalie May scrapbooking and um, yeah that'd be great to enter that little competition all right so now I have got this gorgeous pink so I'm just going to drop some water in here so Lindy's magicals are the pigment dye based powder so the pigments the color we're mixing all the pigments together the dye means it's dyeing our paper and the powder means that we need to activate it to get that magic to happen. So I have just turned over my tags here so I can work differently. I've got a slightly thinner paintbrush, which I actually think is a little bit too big. So I'm going to downsize again using the Ultranu paintbrushes. And I'm making this little puddle here that I'm just going to jump in and colour my little images. Now, drying this in between was really important so that I didn't have any paint, any any Lindy's run into each other. So you'll notice when I'm colouring, I try and go right up to the line, not necessarily touching the edge of the stamped image. Stamping in black archival ink means that I'm not going to lose the integrity of the image. It's going to hold its colour. My stamped image is not going to run because the ink is right for the job. So what I mean by that is if I was to stamp just using, you know, a distress ink perhaps, because I am using... A, a water to mix my pigment to create my colour because distress inks are a water based ink that ink would dissolve and I would lose the integrity of my image it would just become a hot mess so make sure you choose the right ink for the job if you are unsure just ask, just ask, send me an email or, or pick up the phone and ring and, and ask myself or Louise or Kasha, what ink should I use? Do you have something that's going to do the job? The answer is going to be yes. Of course we can make it work for you.
Diane, I've just read your comment, my love, and I, I can't bring myself to comment at the moment. It's a bit, it's a little raw. Um, but thank you. Radio, what else have we got going on? So yeah, so just colouring this image here is absolutely super easy. And this is just really, really simple and effective. Um, you can do this with any stamped image. So even if I was doing this with, say, a, a Tracy Scott stamp, uh, an All and Create stamp, where I stamp some flowers on the back, in the background, that would certainly work. Um, and using a stencil, just like that with some gesso, has created this lovely little resist. Um, I haven't done that technique in a really, really long time. And I was trying to think of the way off camera before I started. How do I make it? How do I give that background a little bit of zhuzh, a little bit of love, without you know being overly complicated? And just a simple gesso has done the trick really, really nicely. All right, I am going to dry that with my heat tool and drink my coffee. <clears throat> and then I want to just do a couple of pops of green on the leaves. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, like I said, this is not a watercolor paper. So it's always going to it's always going to react a little bit differently on different papers. So if you have got a paper that is super porous, meaning a paper that is uh, really, really like a sponge, it's gonna soak up all that colour. I feel like I need a brighter green. Hold that thought. Um, the paper's going to work differently every time. So you just have to have a little awareness of the, uh, of the paper that you're using. I've just pulled out uh, Freaky Frankenlein. Freaky Frankenlein is one of the colours that is in the Halloween Lindy's set of magicals. So this is a lovely punchy bright green. And I just want to colour... Whoops, that's a bit too much liquid. These bright leaves. I just wanted them a bit punchier than the green that's in this, in the tea and crumpets set. Now, it, I'll bring it up to camera in a minute so you can see the detail. And I'm actually loving the heck out of this. So I can't wait to see how I'd like you guys creating and recreating this or trying this technique perhaps and entering our tag challenge over in this uh, creative community. Um, you do request, you do need to request to join. Um, we just don't let any strangers in the group. Uh, so there we go, there's a tiny little bit there. And now I'm going to very bravely extend my lines here. In fact, you know what? Let's cheat and do a ruler. I'll come back and artwork that in a middle in a minute. Alright, so I see that some of you are really enjoying our Artist Trading Card group. Our, our lovely brand ambassadors are doing a stellar job with organising organizing that Artist Trading Card group. So thank you to the girls for that. I am not part of the group, but I have just, I've been trying to make the time to do a little bit more creating for me. So I am taking home some 
artist trading cards, like some stuff tonight to make some artist trading cards as well. So can't wait to do that. I'm not part of the group, but I'm just inviting myself. Um, and for those of you who don't know, an artist trading card is a tiny little piece of artwork about that big. Is that about right? Two, two inches by three inches? Two and a half by three and a half, I think it is. So they're a really great little, a little arty thing. That, and then we send them off to whoever's running the group, uh, which is Linda, Jackie or Naomi. And we send them, they send you off a bundle. So everybody gets one. Everybody in the group gets one. Um, I'm just doing a little outline here because I've got black doodling all the way through. So I need to continue that on. So I don't know if we have, oh, there you go. Um, who's commented on that? Who is coming in as my name today? I need two more people for the Call for Cats group. Um, I'm just reading the comments there. Linda. Jackie. <laughs> Jackie. So if you want to do one with the... So they've all got a theme. All the artist trading cards have got a theme. To call, uh, call for Cats is one of the themes. So make sure that you, uh, if you want to be involved, you just need to create nine artist trading cards with a cat theme, which is very awesome. Okay, I love this. I just need to add a little quote to it now, and then I'm going to be finished. Okay, look at that. You ask and you shall receive, Jackie. Um, Linda, put me down for your group for the wings. I'll do a wings one for you tonight and actually be part of the group. How does that sound? I can't do cats though, sorry, but Janine, Janine will do cats. So Linda, put me down, please, for the, the fill your last spot. I did find a wing stamp earlier and I'm going to do that. All right, so I just need a big juicy quote here. Let's go with something fantastic. What have I got? Nothing handy other than this. So this is the art by Marlene. Sticky quotes. I love getting these in. Um, they go out the door as soon as they come in. I think we've got a couple of these uh, on in my shop at the moment, but more in transit. And I love that they are in three different colours. So I could choose, choose a hot pink one here, which would look pretty great. In fact, it will be perfect. So I just need to choose it. Choose a quote. Don't be good to others, be good to yourself. Don't just be good to others, be good to yourself. In crafting, there are no mistakes. Art is a lie that makes us realise the truth. Oh, happiness is having a friend weirder than you. Yeah, well, that's, that's a thing. Um, let me just find here. Who we like with colour? I like that. So I found a couple in here I like. I'm just making sure. Got the right one. All right, here we go. So I, rather than just sticking them straight onto here, I'm actually going to mount them on a piece of white card because I want them to stand out. I'm concerned that if I just stick it straight down on there, it's going to disappear. So I've got a quote that I've chosen and I'm going to give it a little outline in white. So sticking it onto there and then I'm going to make sure that it's stuck down by making by sticking it on this piece of card as well. All right. So just a little tip. When you purchase the uh, Natalie May scrapbooking stamps, they come as an uncut 
red rubber stamp set. So you do have to cut them yourself. So they don't actually arrive looking all fabulous like this. They are in a whole sheet with some other stamps. So we did this so that we could give you great value for money. There is a video on, in, our, in our community, and I also have put it up on YouTube, where you can jump on and watch how to cut the stamps, all right? So if you are unsure and you receive a set of stamps and go, well, what the hell do I do with these now? Well, you need to cut them yourself and you can watch the video uh, online, which is great. All right, so I'm cutting these out and leaving a tiny little white border all the way around. Oh, yeah, that's good. There we go. So Linda's just commented and said, I'm in group number four. Oh, I don't even know what that means. I'm just going to send them to you. Is that all right? Okay, glue. A smart person knows what to say. A wise person knows whether or not to say it. That applies to so many things in my life at the moment. And I'm sure everybody else agrees. Everybody has that. Sticking. So I'm using the Art Glitter Glue. Could have actually positioned that down a little bit lower but um, I don't mind it here I'm quite happy to keep that simple right quick last bit of detail in adding a stamp that I just put aside to take home that I'm now kicking myself that I did where have I gone there we go uh, this little stamp here is the, one of the a Tracy Scott stamp, I believe, um, and I can't remember the number off the top of my head, but I'm using this because I've got circles in the background, but I just feel the need to add a little bit of circle, a little bit of black around the edges, and adding a few extra circles isn't going to look out of place. Okay, knowing when to add and when to not add is kind of important. Uh, and knowing when to stop, also important. All right, done, stop, stick, stick, easy peasy. I'm going to bring that up to camera for you to have a look at. All righty, so you can see that here in the background. So that's gesso through a stencil with a sponge in the background first, on our paper first. Then we have put our Lindy's Magicals over the top. We have, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Then we have stamped our Buds of May and coloured those. I have extended those lines and done. Happy with that. All right, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go home and hang out with my husband, who's probably just watching the football. Uh, and I am going to take a photo of this and then pop it online. So if you jump online today, uh, we have got Distress Products, Natalie May Products, which is this stamp set, and the stencil that I used here, 15% off. Vicky Booten, Paper Rose and Patterned Papers are all 15% off. Also, Scrap FX products are 30% off. So grab those before they are completely out of stock. All right, guys, that's it from me. I'm going to take a photo of this little baby and pop it up on the group, and then I will link the products that I have used for you to see. I hope you are all having a wonderful day, and thank you very much for joining and watching while I've been doing these live Facebooks. Um, it's nice to give a little back to you guys and say thank you to our customers. 
if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in contact and we look forward to chatting with you soon. See ya.